we're using the acorn squash. I want to just cut off the bottom so it's just squared a little bit. And I've got this, this scoop here. Can feel that it's, um, I've, I haven't gone all the way through. If I went a little further, it, it'd punch right through. So I'm going to use this scoop here just to go in and take out the, uh, the seeds. Well, so I'm going to basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half to get two bowls out of it. Okay. Um, and then we'll just cut this. So we've got a couple of bowls here, and that's the big scoop. See that? Cleans right out. For the pumpkin, all I'm going to do is put some butter in it. Just a little. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit more in the squash. Okay? And some brown sugar in the squash, but not in the pumpkin. Okay? And basically, there's your soup bowl for the first course, and we'll have this later on with the, uh, with the harvest chicken. We throw them in the oven for probably about 25 minutes um, at 300 degrees and just cook, cook them. You don't want to overcook them because you want it to be able to hold the soup. So it, you don't want to put the soup in it and have it, although you can back it up with a soup bowl. So you bake those off in the oven and they will come out looking like that. Okay. The pumpkin that we use um, for the bisque is we have to roast off some bisque. So I, I, take, I take, especially on these small pumpkins, I try to cut the, the, meat, the meat off in, in smaller pieces. The reason, the reason is you can use it in a bigger pumpkin, but it's like the meat's this thick off the, uh, off the rind. And when, you, and when you cook this stuff off, you can feel it. I wish I, there was a way for you to feel it. But there's, there's, you can feel when it's, too, when it's too hard, you just turn the knife a little bit and take it off. Otherwise, that, because it, the pumpkins are so small, the rind has a tendency to make it a little bit, um, it's not bitter, but it's not, it's, not as, it's not as good. It's not a little bit more harsh on the pumpkin flavor. Basically, what I'll do is I'll, uh, is I'll cut, off, cut, off about, cut, cut up a pumpkin and get all that off, roast it with this on another pan. A um, little salt and pepper roasted off, and roasted off in, the, in the oven. And so I wanted everybody to see what it looks like when it comes out roasted. First show back, so we had a little miscommunication, they mashed it all up, okay? So you can see that it's still a little stringy, but it's pumpkin. We're just making a bisque. Bisque is just a rich soup. It's usually made with seafood, a um, little butter. <laughs> So I'm going to melt that down, and in that I'm, I've got one stalk of celery. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, while that butter's melting, I'm going to mince up some celery and some onion. Um, very fine, very fine on the onion. The celery is is not so important, but because it has a tendency to break down. So we'll just, I'm not even gonna use all of it. I also have some nutmeg here. Um, we, we grate our own nutmeg, it, it's, it's way better. And I'm just gonna put just a touch in this while this stuff is sauteing. And that's it. I like to put a little salt and pepper in the vegetables. The salt sweats out the vegetables. It softens them up real fast um, or faster. So you can see we're using the Still River Brewery um, beer in this recipe. Okay, so we've got the beer in there. I'm going to add this pumpkin because all those vegetables have been soft now for a few minutes. So it's a creamy, smooth, creamy, rich soup. It's bisque. Um, I know it does. It smells good already. I'm going to add just a little cream. <laughs> this makes a lot. 
Look at me. Come on. I'm going to add a little bit more cream. To get the right consistency, that's a little bland. And add a little bit of salt. And it needs more nutmeg. Now I'm going to save the nutmeg too. We can put it on at the end. So I've got the bowl for the backup because this is a little soft. Plus it's a little bit soft here. If somebody dips through and it goes through, we've got a bowl to catch it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this brown sugar and I'm going to put it right around the edge of this pumpkin. This can be done at home. And all I'm doing is going around the edge. And brulee the sugar. So we've got the soup. You can serve that right in the, right in the bowl. Put a little sage leaf on there for a garnish. And again, hit it with the nutmeg one last time. And that is the pumpkin soup, a pumpkin bisque in a bowl. It's really easy, and it's worthy of a break. <laughs>